everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Um, you know, if you haven't subscribed, you're here watching this, what are you doing? Subscribe to my channel. I could really use the help. Thank you. We've got something pretty cool planned for today. Um, as you guys know, I just kind of moved down here to South Florida and uh, I've been doing a lot of pond hopping, a lot of canal hopping, just trying to find different fish in different places to uh, fish. But I found something really unique uh, in a private pond. I found some really big Paku. And um, the crazy thing to me was, you know, if you've watched any of the Paku videos or seen anybody catch them, it's in Miami. And I'm almost three hours from Miami, so I've never heard of any of them being um, in this particular area. So we're gonna try and catch them. Now, I did try two days ago, and I was able to feed them. Get them away from this bridge, and I hooked one on my bass gear and got completely wrecked. Um, these fish are just so powerful. Kind of really surprised me, actually, how powerful they really were. Um, Took about 100 yards of line in like just a couple seconds and pulled my hook. So what we're gonna do today, I've actually got some heavier gear. Let me let me show you what I'm working with. So uh, this time we've got the Cabo 50 spool with 30 pound braid on the uh, Mojo Inshore Heavy. And I went ahead and we've got a uh, 2X hook here, 40 pound leader to the Uni Knot. All right, I'm gonna go and get loaded up and uh, we'll go ahead and switch the chest cam we're back over there. So, here we go. All right, let's see if he's home. Let's see if he's home. Water's looking low. See him, but... All right, so we're uh, feeding the ducks right now, hoping that the uh, the noise lures them in. So we'll see here. Bear with me. Got the whole turtle party here today. Look at all these little guys. They're everywhere. Big soft shell over there. Woo! No pocket yet. Hi, turtles. You guys see the turtles? Throw them some bread. So we got the. Oh, there he is right there. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. There we go, we're looing him. We're looing him really quick, actually. This is great. Let's see if we can keep him going that way. Yep. We are good right now. Oh yeah, here he comes. Wow, he's huge. Look at that thing. All right, let's see if we can't get him to eat this. Here goes nothing. Oh, 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 tell him to go out there. He's going to eat it. We've got him. We've got him. Maybe. No, he didn't eat it. Why didn't he eat it? Interesting. Okay. Well, let's get him all riled up again here. There he is, right there. Saw something he didn't like. I wonder what it was, though. Oh, maybe yeah, that time. Go that way, go that way. Yes. Yes, he went this way. Yes, there he is, beautiful. Oh, he's trying to head shake it. Oh, beautiful, yes. Exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. What? 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 He broke me. How did he? 
He just broke me, broke me. How did he do that? I was so upset when that fish chewed through my line that uh, I kind of packed up, left, didn't even bother filming an outro. And uh, when I got home, I actually looked up some anatomy of a Paku. And if you actually look at um, the way its mouth is designed, the way its teeth are designed, they're almost look like human molars. And uh, what I noticed happened was I think that circle hook, the shank was too short on it. And I must have hooked it somewhere in the top of its mouth. And um, that 40 pound fluorocarbon actually got between its teeth. And uh, I think that's what did it. All right guys, so here we are again. It's been uh, four days since uh, the last time we tried to catch that Paku. I had to go home, came back, haven't checked on him yet. Hopefully we can get him to eat again. I mean, how many chances I'm really gonna get on this fish? But uh, I'm thinking a lot and I think we're gonna try something a little bit different today. So I've got a little bit different setup here. I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, so we're running the same uh, Cabo Rio, same Mojo rod, but what we've got here now is we've got a wide gap, uh, circle hook with the trocar ultra points on it and uh, I'm hoping that gets it behind the fish's teeth and I've also went ahead and put on about five inches of wire and I'm hoping that'll also stop the bite um, I don't know if he'll eat it but we're gonna go check it out so all right boys and girls we have ah oh, son of a bitch fuck Right here. Got right here. And my bait fell off the hook. It's not gonna re-fucking bait. Well you have me chuck. There's there's the fish. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Um you where oh, we get there, get that. Where is he again? There he is, I see him. Look, Ducky. Oh, what? Fucking turtles. Oh, did the turtle eat it? Yes. Right off my goddamn hook. <laughs> it's my movement that does it. Fuck, that shit just falls right off the bread, too. Wow. I don't know. I don't understand how he's uh, so spooked by my shit now, but. And there he is right there. It's literally like right there. Let's see if he eats that one. No, he's spooked off it. Now, unfortunately, the wire didn't work. The fish was way too wise. Um, ended up not catching that fish that day, and uh, you know, that was that. After losing that fish the second time, I actually went back over and over and over again um, over the next two coming weeks, trying to bait the fish in, trying to even see it, um, and honestly almost never saw the fish. I did see it one other time and uh, was able to feed it and it gave me some confidence back that the fish was there. But um, one day, just shortly after that, I had been out kayak fishing all morning and I had some bread still up in my truck. So I decided to swim by and see if the fish was there. Lo and behold it was, and I did not have my GoPro, but I was able to hook this fish, went on three blistering runs, and I was able to land it. So uh, here's some footage from me actually landing the fish. Oh, you guys, look at this fish. Oh my God, I finally got him. The big Paku. Ah, look at this. Oh, I can get him up like this. Ah, yes. Finally, look at that monster. Oh my God. All right guys, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and get him back in the water here. Get him revived and get him on his way. Oh man. He's already kicking. Oh my God. There he goes. 
yes. Finally, we got him. Three weeks I've been chasing that fish. We finally got him. That thing had to have been at least 30 pounds. Oh my God. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Woo! Thank you.